since I had never been exposed to Arab culture before my semester abroad in Jordan, studying and living in the Middle East was quite challenging at the beginning. I still remember the first week I was in Amman. I was very scared to take either the bus or taxi by myself because not every taxi driver could speak English, and my Arabic back then was limited. Since my Jordanian mom could not take me to school every morning, I needed to figure out how to get around by myself. One morning on my way to school, I flagged down a taxi and hopped in the front seat. All of a sudden, the taxi driver started yelling at me in Arabic and making angry gestures at me. I was so confused and did not know what was going on since I barely understood what he was trying to tell me. He saw I was completely lost. So he got out of the taxi, opened the front door for me, and pointed at the back seat. I quickly got off the front seat and hopped in the back seat. The tall, masculine, and impatient Arab driver could not even wait for me to close the back door and started to strive with his loud Arab music on. I was so terrified by him all the way to school, and all I could think of were scary movies set in the Middle East. The same day after school, I could not wait to share my first taxi experience with my Jordanian mom. After my host mom heard my experience, she could not stop laughing and then told me, "Genevieve, unlike many other countries in the world, women cannot sit in the front seats of buses and taxis. Next time, when you get into a car, keep in mind not to take the front seat. It's so rude to sit right next to a male driver. You should get into the car, sit in the back seat." Stay at the window and do not interact with the driver. The longer you live in this region, the more you will notice that almost all local women do the same thing whenever they take taxis. Later, I tried to act as my host mom told me to do. There were many times that I could not give a serious look and keep staring at the window. I laughed out loud in the middle because I saw it was so funny to pretend that I was being serious while in the car. Till today, I try not to sit in the front seat, even in countries where this rule does not apply. I guess this is how unforgettable my first taxi experience was.